Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm showing you guys permit sign iOS. With this, you guys can forever sign IPA files without a PC. This works on iOS 14 and up, guys. So no more resigning every seven days um, with permit sign, guys. It's permanently signing your um, your app. So it's really amazing. I'm show you guys how to do this. Um, so first off, you guys want to add this repo right here. It's the right here power and power and repo. Um, I also noticed that it's really important. I'm not sure for other package managers, but for Cydia, when you guys are adding this repo, it's gonna say like it's not you know letting you add it. You just want to make sure you put in a capitalized P and a capitalized R here. So you see in the end of the repo, which is a capital P for powering, and then out that's repo with capital R. Make sure you guys put the capitalization for the P and the R in, and then should let you to add the source. So once you guys do that, go into the source, all packages, only two here. Obviously, what we want is a perma signer, right? iOS. You also go to search and you can search up as well. Same thing right here, perma signer iOS. So I don't have a device, I was 14 and up, unfortunately, so I can't really show you guys me installing this, but you pretty much want to install this package right here. And um, after you guys install that package right there, you, also, you guys also want to install a package uh, or an, a tweak called Files of File Manager. And then you guys pretty much are done. All you guys want to do now is actually, um, let me just go back to perma signer. Um, but you, when you guys saw perma signer, it's going to be an app on your home screen. You guys want to then go over to an IPA and then you guys want to download the IPA and then on perma signer, um, you guys tap on perma signer, open it up. It's going to say like select, you know, a file, so tap on select file and then you want to select on the IPA. You guys want to sign, it could be like a cover, it could be a jailbreak IPA or just an application IPA. It doesn't really matter whatever you guys want. Um, and then pretty much you want to sign the IPA by you know choosing the file of it and then after that it would say it's done and then it'll actually be up in Falza and then you want to go to Falza and install that file and then after you install Falza you would then I mean after you guys install through Falza the dot deb you guys would have both apps on your home screen and that's really it and then um, you guys actually will not be able to remove the IP the uh, app or IPA that you guys installed using um, or dot deb you guys installed using perma uh, signer in order to remove the um, the, the application you guys installed through perma signer you guys would actually have to go over to Cydia go over to installed and you guys can just go over to recent and then you would, the most recent package that you guys installed using uh, perma signer would be right here and you guys remove it that way uh, on the top right be like a remove button and you just tap on you know, let's say this is right here this is the last one we installed let's say this is like uncover for example tap onto it on top right say remove i uh, tap on remove and then that's how you can remove it um so that's the way you remove it not on the home screen um because it won't let you delete it through the home screen you have to remove it through cydia like it's a tweak but you guys thank you so much for watching uh if you guys have any questions leave them down below i'm more happy to help you guys out and unfortunately um yeah i can't like you can't see me doing it because, like I said, I don't have a device on iOS 14 up, but it's really easy. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and peace.